preparation for the Nike World Basketball Festival showdown between France and the United States, the French national team spent time in the practice gym. I think it's great for us to play them first and because now I think we can, we can see where we are. So if we beat them the first game, I think we're in good shape for the, for the next game. You know, you want to start the competition the right way, so, so it's going to be a great challenge for us. We just want to, to start the competition good. And uh, for us, it would be opportunity to really uh, play inside a lot, to have a good balance. You know, we lost Roni, we lost Joachim, so those are two tough losses, but you know, we, we get through it. We have to do a good job of, you know, kicking the ball out and, you know, make sure uh, we're finishing strong and, and all those little things like rebounding, shot blocking. We know it's going to be tough, but uh, we're going to play as hard as we can. we got a pretty young team. we got to play a great game, you know, for us to be able to, to beat a team like that. We're going to try to, to use our quickness and, uh, and the fact that we're young to, uh, to be able to outwork them. now to a New York City landmark. New York City is basketball, and the Nike World Basketball Festival is all over the city. Radio City Music Hall usually plays host to concerts and shows, but for one night, this historic building underwent a hoops transformation. I know that this stage has a lot of history, and to bring basketball into that history is it's pretty cool. The players, they've never been here before. It's crazy, the ambiance. The history of this building. You're really on the stage. You're literally playing on the big stage tonight. It's crazy. It's been a little different. You know, look out there and see like a uh, music setting, but it's gonna be pretty cool. No, I never imagined playing a basketball game in like a an opera house. It seems like. I think we're gonna have some fun with it though. It's Andre Iguodala, watch this. It's <laughs> over this, man. Andre Iguodala right there. These guys are only 20. It's a very cool experience for our players, you know? Inner squad scrimmage that will be entertaining for the fans. In the home of the world renowned Radio City Rockets, the U.S. national team lined up for some spirited competition. Rudy Gay had it locked by Tyson Chandler, Odom inside, and Lamar Odom. I can tell you right now, that both teams want to win this game. Odom from downtown. These guys are very, very competitive. Kevin Love with a nice move inside. And they're finding the range on the stage at Radio City. Nice drive by Russell Westbrook. Phillips tries to get rid of it. Again, the blue team coming away with it and running the pass to Durant and the throwdown, and that brought some cheers from the crowd. Veteran Andre Iguodala was the star of Blue Team, using the Nike World Basketball Festival as his long-awaited breakout moment. Nice crossover on right and Andre Iguodala bringing it down. This is his fifth year playing for USA Basketball in a row. In the first four years, he didn't have a chance to be on the World Championship and Olympic team. He, he came in as the practice squad guy. So a lot of these guys have paid their dues with us, and it's great to see him get a chance. Pass from Durant and the throwdown. I'm tired of beating up on each other. Getting a competition, no, you know, no, no, no better competition than amongst the best players in the world that we believe. Nice look. That's wet. That is a wet jumper. Curry hits his second consecutive three. Curry has scored nine of the last 11 points for the blue team. After hitting four second half three-pointers, Stephen Curry tried to put the game away. We've got overtime. This is the deal. They're gonna jump it at center court. And then the first team to score wins the game. It's sudden death exactly. in basketball. Exactly, sudden <laughs> death, the first shot counts. Any bucket, any point wins it. I like the intensity here, you know? Yeah, they wrapped it up. Drama. No foul call. Chandler wins it on an alley -oop. Tyson Chandler brings it home and punctuates the victory with a lob. 
World Basketball Festival. I can highly anticipate it, showing the fans how much we progressed in such little time. Hey, there you go, y'all. Wait for peace, man. That's a good night, y'all. USA on three. One, two, three. USA! Coming up next, the Chinese national team gets valuable experience on the Madison Square Garden floor. And Team USA faces off with France in the Nike World Basketball Festival 2010 finale. I feel good, you know, it's our last game here, you know, with USA across our chest and uh, why not end it well in Madison Square Garden, so it's fun. This is going to be showtime. 